your Menominee Falls Indians. Good evening. Uh, welcome to tonight's soccer game. Menominee Falls hosting the West Dallas Hale Huskies. We're getting ready for the tonight's player introductions and national anthem. So let's go to voice of Menominee Honor Falls, America. Jerry Mislaw. Thank you. And our real heroes are men and women in the armed forces. But they all serving overseas and away from their families. Please rise, remove your hats, and please be respectful for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, good sportsmanship is one of the primary purposes of a high school athletic program. Our athletes recognize that judgment calls are made in good faith, and they must abide by the decisions of the officials. We ask all spectators, please refrain from derogatory remarks or cheers, and support all the athletes in a positive and sportsmanlike manner. Thank you for your cooperation. Now let's meet tonight's starting lineups. Starting first with the West... Uh, West Dallas Hale Huskies. We got it. Number four, senior Isaiah Sayers. Number five, sophomore Nathan Campos. Number six, senior Michael Weiss. Number seven, junior Brian Volk. Number nine, junior Ryan Effinger. Number 10, junior Alexander Sykes. Number 11, junior Anthony Taylor. Number 12, junior Joe Wade. Number 21, Junior Luke Zelton. Number 23, Senior Dane Ulick. And in goal, sophomore Noah Stoich. On injury reserve is Gregory Palkowski. The head coach for the Huskies is Neil Dombrowski. Let's have a nice hand for the Nathan Hale Huskies. Now let's meet your Menominee Falls Indians, led by head coach Scott Stein, assisted by A.D. Gonzalez. The starting lineup for the Indians. Number two, sophomore Sam Choman. Number three, senior Alex Maloney. Number four, junior Jake Lux. Number nine, senior Ian Storts. Number 12, senior Brandon Dantone. Number 13, senior Kyle Clark. Number 14, senior Dejan Nelson. Number 19, sophomore Ryan Callan. In goal for the Indians is senior Will Genthi. And this year's captains, Joe Burgoyne, number 12, and the trick end, number 5. And captain, number 8, Alex Eastman. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Have a great match. Just a reminder, the concession stand is open. And we'll be ready to get started football. here in just All a couple of minutes. Programs, both athletic and academic. Also, like to welcome Falls Cable Access Channel 14. They'll be taping the game tonight. You can see it on a tape delay basis. You can also see it in West Dallas if you don't have Falls Cable Access on your computer. We'll give you that link later on. Also, like a special welcome for all our VIPs tonight. We picked out a night with great weather, so it worked out well. But thank you all the VIPs for coming out tonight. And this is Troy Sparks along with Chuck Van Horn Chuck here. Van Horn. Also, like to welcome <laughs> Been a long time. <laughs> but we're in for a treat here. At Menominee Falls, between the Falls Indians and the West Dallas Hell Huskies. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Man? Good. 
Uh, we got a conference game tonight. We're about halfway through the conference season, just a little over. Uh, we've got Menominee Fawcett in fourth place. And uh, West Dallas Hales, uh, fifth place, I believe. Sixth, actually. They're one and three. Menominee Falls, two and two in conference. Falls coming off a non-conference win against McQuanago. The McQuanago Indians, their yearly matchup with them, 3-1 last week. Yeah, and I went and watched that game, and the thing is that Menominee Falls had, they got some early shots on goal in that game, but the thing was they just kept attacking, and then uh, the middle 15 minutes of the first half, McQuanago came back, and they, they really took it to the Falls, and, and you know, Menominee Falls did score late in the first half, and then in the second half, well, they got two goals in the first half. And then in the second half, they got one goal. McQuanico was able to to match them in the second half early in that game. And sometimes, though, you can catch the falls off guard because a speedy team like McQuanico just, just just keeps running and attacking and bringing the ball up and, and not giving you a chance to rest as a defense. You really have to make sure that you stay on your toes. Paul's getting ready to break their huddle here. And we'll be ready to get started momentarily here. Hale will have the first half kickoff. And the Falls come in ranked number four in the area, along with two conference schools that's up there, one and two. Here we Central go. Central East Marquette. West House Hale trying to get organized here. Generally have a little feeling out process and start of these games. Good play to ball the midfield. Now forward on the left. Falls is able to turn them. Keeps the ball in play. And out of play. We have throw in for West Dallas Hale. And right away, Hale is trying to put the attack on the Indians. West Dallas Hale holds his own. Just on the header here. And we've got foul there and uh, Manami falls ball. Yeah, I, I imagine that both teams are going to be physical, especially on the pitch. So the referee's got to be careful in how those fouls will be dished out or if it's just even when they're going for the ball in a 50-50 situation. Uh, that's is that number eight? It looks like Eastman with the ball in the corner there. Yeah, that was Eastman, uh, one of the captains on the team, senior captain. And last week he had two assists and one goal in that McGuanago game. Eastman with a throw here. Falling deep. Hale kicks it out of bounds again, and Eastman will throw it back in. Yeah, Eastman was pretty instrumental in that uh, corner throw that set up their first goal last week by Dejon Nelson. Good throw again. This time we're going to have a corner kick. Well, you just keep kicking it to them, huh? <laughs> Giving them all these opportunities. And there's Dejon Nelson. He's going to kick it in from the corner. Yeah, this will be Nelson taking the kick now. It's deep in the corner. Tough to get a camera angle on this one here. We'll just watch the ball come in here. It's deep. All the way across field. All the way out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for West Dallas Hale. Yeah, this Falls team is, is a very upperclassman oriented, and they also are deep. Their roster, they have a lot of players that can come in and and uh, contribute at any time. The foul and luck's there. Hale with the free kick here. Fifty ball here it is. I mean, Manami falls throwing. Good hustle down there on the left, the far side. Yeah, and the thing is with with Falls though, they have to be more organized, and they have to create a, some placing out there on the field. Nice throw. Never able to get a foot on it though. Hale just clears it deep out of bounds. Ball being Manami falls.
very difficult to see the numbers on this white team here. Manami Falls home team. They're wearing white uniforms with white shorts with white numbers with maroon piping. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if that helped. Falls at midfield. Plays it back left. That starts with the ball. Nelson back to starts. Down the side, deep in the corner. What's the call here? Offsides. Offsides called by the Falls. And keep in mind, um, just in case, and this is how I found out this year, that in the past, up until this year, I believe, they played 80 minutes, but now it goes to a full 90 minutes. No overtime, though. No overtime. No playoff right. time. All right. West Dallas Hale kicks the ball right into the stands here. So Monami Falls will have a throw in. Everybody all right here in the stands? Looks like it. This is number 90 in storage with the throw. Over to the middle and there's Jake Luck hustling after it. And Hale's able to turn around the other way. That's Taylor. They're going to switch to field. But Emily Falls able to slow him down. Westiles Hill controls the ball. Plays it to the right side. And that's Weiss. Falls clears it away some. Nice dribbling. Shot, but wide right. It'll be a goal kick for Miami Falls. Yeah, there's no way that Alexander Sykes, number 10, should have penetrated through the defense. And that was pretty risky with a shot on goal. Stotts brings it up easily. Nearly the midfield. Hale finally puts a little pressure on him. Miami Falls swings it around to the right side. Plays it up. West Dallas Hale easily able to Turn that one. There's a little pressure here by Nelson. Hale plays it back. They turn, they go. Center. And nobody there for West Dallas Hale. And it'll be uh, Will Genty here with the goal kick. Or throw. Starts again to midfield. Eight is Eastman. Eastman again to the center, but nobody there. Yeah, it'll be hard for Eastman to get an easy goal, especially early in this first half since he's one of the strikers, and he's a marked man just like any striker should be. Up to midfield, 50-50. Falls with it. A lot of back and forth here really at the start. Yeah, ill-advised play there by Hale. It'll be a throw in from Menominee Falls. Well, they're just filling each other out because one mistake here and there, and you talking about at least a one goal difference. It can be a 1-0 game. Falls on the far side now. Good move, centering pass. Unable to get it all the way through. A lot of bodies there. Good break up there by the Omni Falls. Hale still able to play it on the left side, but nobody back there for them. And it'll be throw away the goaltender. Is he going to punt it away? Ah, he sent him all forward. Yeah. yeah, and then he throws it. Oh, all right. There's no pressure on the left side there from Stortz. Oh, opportunity maybe for the Falls. Got to get some support here. It'll be a throw for the Falls. We're eight minutes in. No score yet. No shots on goal yet. Short corner. Good effort by the Falls. Dribbles through. Shot. No. Blocked. There's a shot. Nice save. 
It was a shot by Nelson, I believe, or was it? Yeah, it was Nelson. Came There's here. replay, yep. And uh, that first goal that he scored at McGuinigal was set up from a heel kick by Eastman. West Hills able to clear it down. Hustle in here by Menominee Falls. Keep it forward. That's your defender way up there. We're going up, playing offensively now. So he's in there. Oh, unable to get a clean foot on it. Oh, we're calling a corner kick, though, off of West Dallas Hill. The Falls are getting their shots, though, especially early in this first half. Corner kick, Brandon Dantone. All right, Dantone's going to try and bend it in here now with the left foot. Here it is. Cross the face, a goal. Oh, we got a whistle. We got a shove on Menominee Falls. We'll be going the other way. Let's see a replay here of it. Just a little shove here right there. Yeah, it was pretty close. And then Tone is second on the team uh, in scoring. He has seven goals, six assists, 20 points. Two game-winning goals for the Falls. Good header by Monomany Falls. But it's right back to the goaltender. He'll wait a little bit now while they get organized, and then he'll boot it away. There it is up past midfield. Monomany Falls trying to get control. That Sykes for, what do we got to call here? We got to push, yep. So we're going to have a free kick for West Dallas Hale here. I mean, Hale's in sixth place in this conference, and a win here will really boost their confidence, and the Falls have to really worry about the, the remaining schedule for their opponents in, this, uh, in the homestand coming up later in the season have winning records. That's Effinger with the kick. Good effort there by Hale, but it's going to be a, a goal kick, I believe, here for Menominee Falls. Nobody's playing short. There we go with Storts again. Interested to see how far they let him bring it up again. Halfway up the defensive end, nearly to midfield. Plays it ahead. Kicked out there by Hale, so we'll have a throw in Menominee Falls. Then we have a substitution here for Menominee Falls. And for Menominee Falls, number 22K, Lapo. So for Menominee Falls, we have a Lapo in for Lucht. This is Storts here. And that is Eastman. Eastman around one defender. Back to Storts. He settles it. Plays it up. Storts can carry, carries it through. We're going to call against them. We have a free kick for Menominee Falls here. Just outside the just outside the box here on the left side. That was lucked. Here's a shot. There's a goal. Wow. Deep goal. It was about 20, 25 yards. He and Storks. Assist from Alex Eastman. Indians won. Beautiful play. They've been letting Storks pretty much have his way the whole game, bringing the ball up from the defensive end. There's a replay here. They set him up nicely, and he takes a shot right over the top of the goaltender. Well, you might as well give it to him. Yeah, you might as well give it to him, and uh, Ian Shorts has at least an offer from UWM. No, Eastman. Oh, Eastman, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, Eastman is pretty good. Here we go. Manami falls back on the offensive end here. Dribbling through... Numerous Hill players. That's that was Clark to start. That's, I think that's Mahoney there. Mahoney, number three. All the way across a header. Nobody on the backside from Menominee Falls there. Opportunity, here's a replay. Nobody coming back to back end there though. 
Good effort by the Falls. We'll have a goal kick now by West Dallas Hale. 13 minutes into this game. one nothing Menominee Falls. Kick out this way. That's a header by Maloney. Hale not able to do anything there. That's Clark. We're going. There's Eastman. Playing it up. Menominee Falls getting organized here. Yeah. Nice pass. Good, good job by the goaltender from West Dallas Hale there. Saved by Northstone. He's been pretty busy already. And there was a nice pass by Alapo. There they are again with more pressure. Not quite able to get it through there. The defense is playing way up for Menominee Falls. There's no, no reason for him to stay back right now. And we're going to have a throw in, a throw for the Falls. Yeah, the Indians are set, they're sending a message early in the first half. They want to attack. They want to score as many goals as possible. In their 10 wins, they averaged 3.5 goals a game. So I think they want to keep the pressure on the Huskies. Good throw in right in front of the goal. Nice and wonderful save by the West House Hale save goaltender. We're going to see this again right here. Nice throw in. Action in the middle here. Ball right in front of the goal. Ball's unable to get a foot on it to knock it home. Yeah, the defense are playing pretty tight up there in the goal Ooh. box by Hale. Rolls all the way back to the Falls goaltender. Just rolls it up. Here we go. We're going, I believe. And this is Storks. Play it to the middle there. Back left side. Plenty of time. No pressure at all from Hale. It's Maloney there. Back to Storks. Paul's having no problems getting organized here. That's Nelson, I believe. And they finally play it ahead. Well, I think the Falls have to keep attacking instead of trying to sit back and be conservative on a one-goal lead. Eastman hustling down for the Falls, and West Dallas Hale just kicks it out of bounds. We have a couple more substitutions here, I believe, on the throw. And it looks like Luck coming back into the game. Substitution for both teams for the Huskies, number 20, Brandon Barr. For the Indians, number four, Jake Luck. Also, yeah. like to recognize our ball boy in the other I side. Think that I believe that's a little Gilbertson over there. So let's have a nice hand for Gilbertson. Oh, boy, I can't even tell who went out of the game. All right, here we go. Hale uh, trying to get something going here. Played across. Right to start's head. That's Eastman. Luck trying to get through there. He's fresh just off the bench. Starts chipping up there. No, plays it to, over to Nelson. Side, the near side. That's Clark with the ball. Passes it up. That's Eastman, I believe, yes. Carries to the center. And that's Nelson. Oh, a little shove there. They play on. Hale clears it a little bit here. And now they control the ball in their own end. Played up. They left forward making a run here. And it's got a bounce. Oh, not yet. Now it is. What are you throwing for the falls? About 17 and a half minutes into the first half here. But how many falls controlling? Swing it all the way to the near side here to start. That's locked. Try to swing it around. It's Lapu Nelson. Nelson gives it back to him. No. That's a long shot, and that's up and over, over everything. Home run. So we'll be having a goal kick for the Huskies of Hale. 
substitution here for West Dallas Hale. And for West Dallas Hale, number 19, Oscar Montalban. All right, there's Stovich here, goaltender for Hale with the free, or the goal kick. A little shove in the back. Yeah, they got him. They got Alapo with the shove in the back. Now, didn't Alapo have an old, older brother that played soccer here? Uh, coach told me it was a cousin or something. Okay, is that same guy that won state championship in wrestling? The cousin. Okay. Free kick here for Hale. Well, he's pretty tall, too. Alapo is. Nice kick. Good job there. Somebody's got to get up in the air and get their head on that. Saved by Will Genty. Genty throws it up. This is luck. That's Eastman with the ball there. Starts to Eastman. Back to Storts. There's Eastman. Hand in the back. Nothing there, though. Back to him. Nice give and go. Oh, good job by Hale. Get a foot on that one. I probably would have had a shot. All right, Hale trying to play it up. That's Burgoyne there. Far side, fall settles the ball. Here's making a run. Nice job bringing it in. Ooh, nearly through. Yeah, it's going to be a long night for the goalkeeper. He's going to work Hale. already. Stovich for Hale. And he's a sophomore, too. He's getting plenty of experience here at the varsity level. Nice play by the fan there to stop the ball. Throwing for the falls. Well, the fan could have threw the ball in. <laughs> There's a lot ball getting pushed off the ball. He's good, though. Over to your right back. Here's Burgoyne with the ball now. Dribbles through some traffic. That's Nelson. Gives it back to him. Nice run by Burgoyne here, but it's one on four or five, and they're going to give him a little shove in the back there. Well, Chuck's pretty nice weather here, especially in, on the first day of fall. Definitely. Just wait until next month when, you know, when the playoff round starts and the Falls have a home game here. Wind starts. You never here. know. <laughs> Kick by Hale. There's a lapo. You're not going to get over his head. We got a little hand, hand fight in there. Going to call it on a lapo. Yeah, um, a lapo is getting his fair share of time. He's in there contributing, and I wouldn't be surprised if, if they reward him with a goal. But we're still a long ways away. I'll look with the. Free kick inside, headed away by Burgoyne. Lapo clears it up. Here comes the falls. That's Eastman putting pressure on the ball. Kicked it right into the concession stand nearly. <laughs> then we have a throw in from Anomaly Falls. Eastman on the ball. Well, I guess some, somebody didn't get the memo on the Falls team. They were supposed to receive that throw in. Ooh, bumped him off. Wade there. Got into Eastman and got him knocked him to the ground. And yeah, Eastman should get the attention because uh, entering his game, he has seven goals, 10 assists, 24 points, and t uh, three game-winning goals. This is starts here. Right at him. A little, maybe just a little deep. Saved by no storage. Lapo's got to fix his shoe. And right in front of us here. It's going to be Menominee Falls with the throw. And this is Nelson. No. Let's start throw it in. There's the throw down the sidelines. Looks like he's trying to get it to Eastman. Eastman with the throw now. Looking for somebody. 
We've got it to Starts in the back. Starts, oh. Megdim. Starts heads it back. That's Eastman. Lapa, we're playing it back. We're going. Trying to play it through. Nobody there. Nobody home for Clark. Now we're going. We're swinging it to the far side. Burgoyne hauls it up. Takes a shot. Just over the crossbar for Burgoyne. A couple of substitutions here again. Here's a replay from our. Just a little bit high. Yeah, a little chip shot. Substitution. A couple number of subs for Menominee Falls into the game. And number 17, Dylan McMahon. Bodenberg McMahon in for Menominee Falls. Looks like Dantone went out and a lot, I believe. Yes. There we got a shot of the goaltender from West Dallas Hale. Who kind of fanned on that one? Whoops. That's Eastman. Eastman's around the ball in the action all the time here. Yeah, he should be involved. I mean, the Falls. Ooh, McMahon our, ran him over. Falls are winning most of the possession. They are, of the first half here. So you see they're attacking on, on their half of the field. Let's tell, they're trying to settle it down a little bit, it looks like. Trying to get over a nice free kick, but yeah, able to get ahead on it. There's Eastman again. Stotts plays it ahead. Falls hustling after. There's McMahon hustling, I believe that is. Yes. Good pressure down there. Good hustle. And kick it up here into the stands. So we'll have a throw in Menominee Falls. Stotts right at midfield. To Eastman. And Eastman to nobody. Hale coming the other way. And if you're Menominee Falls, you want to keep those substitutions going. Westhouse Hale trying to get some control here. Playing it across the field. Played off the ball, though. Mommy Falls takes it away. That's Nelson now. Eastman. Oh, he fan on it, but he, oh, Hale, he will maintain control. Down the near side here. He held it in. Well, they call a Call foul and locked. And this will be Weiss taking the kick here for West Dallas Hale. This game has been pretty clean throughout the first half by both teams. Not too much pushing and shoving. Here comes the kick. Bends it in. A little far from the goal. I think he wanted to get that a little bit deeper. That's number one over there. That's uh, Bodenberger, Bonenberger. Another throw in. Wide, and we'll have a goal kick for the Falls. Yeah, Genty has been pretty good in goal, you know, behind the goal post. Giving up an average of 1.41 goals a game. He's given up 18 goals this season, 77 saves coming into this game. Kicked it past everybody. There's Nelson in there again. Here comes Eastman. Heads it back. That's uh, Clark to Eastman. This is Luck. Who has it taken away by Hale? Takes it back, though. Here's Bonenberger again. Nice play there by Hale. Just a little chip. He plays it out there. There's Nelson, though. Not quite able to control it. Eastman cut, cut that one off before he even got it away. Good pressure by the Falls here. Very good pressure. Here's Eastman. Needs a little support here. Man on his back for Bodenberg. There we go. Eastman plays it into the corner. He's not going to get there. You're going to have a goal kick here for West Isles Hill. Yeah, he should have ran up to the ball and anticipated that Eastman was going to give him the pass in the corner of the field. Got to be ready for those types of situations. Oh. 
This is Stovich. And Nelson with the shove in the back and the jump over the guy. No call, though. Coming this way. Lou. Tough play by Luck. Nice job. That's Bonenberger to Nelson. Eastman. Bonenberger got to get up. No. I know. Both, both teams and players on both teams, they're not too happy with the amount of potential foul calls that could be um, displayed on both teams, but the referee is letting them play on. That's Burgoyne there. And that's Bonenberger. Falls up the far side. Trying to control it there. They're close, but they keep it in. A little trip there. And Falls is going to have a free kick. It's almost like basketball where the officiate, they, they let things loose, and then in the second half, they call things tight. We'll see if that translates to soccer. Sure, we're going here. Get the free kick. Kicks away. Oh, Nelson could have got a head on that one. Looked like he ducked it a little bit. We're going to have a goal kick here. Indian substitutions. Hmm. Number 10, Tyler Pitlick. Mass Number substitutions one, here for the Austin Falls. Beaton. About 30 minutes Number into the game here. Dan Jones. And 22K, Wapo. All right, here we go. Kick away by Nathan Hale. West Dallas Hale, I suppose. We had a still Nathan Hale. <laughs> here they come on the offensive end now. Falls with all those substitutions. Got to get back in the flow a little bit. We're going to have a throw here for the Falls. That's the advantage that the Indians have. They have so many players that can come in and contribute. They can substitute and get fresh legs on the field and, and continue to pressure on the opponent. That yeah, was Eastman with the header there. Here comes Eastman swinging around, trying to get it to Nelson. That's uh, Joe Burgoyne there. Nice play. He's going to keep... And that looks like D'Antone. Centers it. Oh, East, is that Eastman? No, that was Burgoyne. That's Eastman. Off oh. the crossbar, straight up. Oh, he got shoved. No call there. And that one's going to be too deep. Wow. That was a scare for the West Dallas Hill goalkeeper. Can you think about that? Shot, yeah. Shot going off the top post. Missed it by less than the width of the ball, actually. Goal kick again for Hale. Eastman. Mm. That starts there, getting the ball ahead. Ball's way up in the air still. There's Eastman. Tried to play it down. He got shoved. No call. Hale will be happy to let it go out, but they unable to do it. No shove, nothing there. That's D'Antone. Trying to go through three men. That's going to be off of D'Antone. We'll have a throw in for Hale. About 13 minutes left in the half here. And the Falls have a tall lineup out there, especially in midfield in the back and on defense, so um, they can win some of those headers in the air. Lapo. Nice move. Hale able to take it away. They play it back. That's Sayers. Falls are really swarming around on defense here. They're doing a nice job. Not letting Hale get anything really going. Lapo takes the ball. That's Burgoyne again. Now he's carrying it up. He's got D'Antone on his left. Plays it through. Hale's able to come across what he got called here now. It was like a foul on West Dallas Hill. They must have called him for that shove in the back. No, we're going to throw it in. No, we're not going to throw it in. There's going to be a kick here. 
Oh, and this is huge for the Falls. Looks like it's going to be Eastman on the ball. He takes it quickly, and it's a goal. Wait, with no whistle or anything? I guess. Goal Eastman. <laughs> goal by Alex Eastman. Somebody Sorry, wasn't paying attention. Well, referee put the ball in play. And West Allen's tail didn't look West like they were organized, and Eastman, knowing what he's doing, took a quick shot. 2 nothing, Menominee Falls. Wow, that was easy, as easy as you can get. Here we have a replay right here. Oh, that's the uh, play that, well, that's a previous play. It was a little bit high. 2 nothing, Menominee Falls here. West Allen's tail trying to mount any offense right now. Manami Falls easily able to clear the ball back midfield. Manami Falls just looks a lot more organized than Hale here. That's Dantone. Look out. Alapo staying with it here. He gets across the field in a hurry. Long strides. Ball played out off of Menominee Falls. And we're going to have a throw in for Hale. Yeah, it's one thing that the Falls defense have made the adjustment from the Quantico game where you were dealing with a speedy team, team that Some constantly runs and runs at you. Well, Hell, it doesn't look like that kind of Google. team that will give them a challenge too so much on offense. And when you talk about being down two goals in the first half, that's a psychological effect on you. Yeah, it's a lot of points in soccer. Dantone trying to get to it on the near side here. Shoved him right in the back, but he keeps it in play. Carries it up. Dantone, Hale's happy to just clear it. That's going to be a corner kick. Here we have a replay. Corner kick. Nice. He's passing it to himself here. Just as another stride. He had a, would have had a nice shot there. Oh, yeah. I uh, don't see who's taking the kick. Looks like Nelson, maybe? No? Is it? It is Nelson. Get a Lapo in there and maybe yep. get a header. Oh, nice play. That's Dantone, I think. A lot of jockeying down there in the box. Dejan Nelson. It'll be another corner for Menominee Falls. You see a Lapo down there. I mean, if you can get a nice header to him, nice corner kick to him, you can just head it in because he's tall. They're running a loop with him there. He's trying to get it to him. On the far side, I think that was Dantone. No, Burgoyne. That was Burgoyne. Here we go. We got a kick from Nathan Hale. Nobody home for Hale. Falls able to control it. That's Clark. Ooh. Hale just looks a little disorganized here. Not only that, it seems like there's, they stopped playing and stopped attacking. Throwing here for the falls. I mean, the mindset if you're the hell coach, you're talking to your team, you say at least let's get one of these goals back um, when they start second half, the second half of the game. Well, they better be careful they don't not down three by then. Throw for the falls again. It's into a lapo. Be able to save it. And not able to save it. It's going to be throw for West Dallas Hale. I remember last year, there were 40 minutes half. I think this is the first year that they start the 40 minutes. Yeah, they just changed that this year. I was out there uh, when I watched the game at McGuanico, and I'm thinking, well, this game should be over. First half should be over. And I go, oh, they got another five minutes. Falls lets the ball go back to the goaltender here. Genthi will be able to kick it deep. This time he does. It's up in the air. It's a Dan Tone up there for the falls, and that's that's Clark. He's having a nice game, too. What's going on? Let's see Hale with a little bit of a pressure here, a little bit of offense. Nice run here by the defender. They will swing it across. Right at Kenty, though, for the save for him. Save by Will Kenty. Yeah, Kenty is keeping busy as well. 
This is Eastman here with the ball. Played it up to Godfrey. Hale's able to take it away. They're trying to play it down the end here. Keeps it in. He's in trouble. Eastman sends it back the other way for the falls. Seven minutes left and a half. Oh, a slip. That's D'Antone. Just out of the reach of Alapo. Little pressure here. Better be careful, Falls. Uh-oh. He's wide open on the net. Oh! Unable to get a decent shot off there. Good job by the Falls defense to throw their bodies back there. Yeah, that was pretty scary. I mean, Ginty comes out and here's a replay there. Ginty comes out and he um, ball skips over his head and if the two defenders didn't get back there near the goal, it could have been a disaster. Ginty with the goal kick here for the Falls. The Falls plays a flat, well, we used to call it a flat back four. I don't know if that's what they're still calling. So they don't really have a sweeper back there. If you have a sweeper, he generally spends most of his time back down by the goal tier and get, keeps all that out of there. I think this is a more, uh, almost a more of an attacking type defense. Alapo again. Got to get up. Nice trip down. Be a kick for the Falls. Falls on the attack now on the far side. Nice run there. He's going to swing it. No. Thought he was going to swing it in. Yeah, it's going to be a goal kick there. Over the top. I think he may have waited just a little bit too long to try to swing that one across. You look at the conditioning. Um, Foss looks fresher. They look more fit. They can run all over the field. Hell is slowing down a little bit. All right. This is Nelson again with the ball. Tried to cut back, not able to do it. That's Eastman. Tries to cut through, unable to do it. Here comes Hale. Is he going to get there? And Falls gets back fine. There's making a run. He runs through it. Nobody goes with him. Slided attempt. No. There's a shot, but it's way high. Not even on the net. So it'll be a goal kick for the Falls. Still 2 nothing. Four, four and a half minutes left in the first half. Nelson heads it up. Kicked out of bounds by Hale. And we'll have a throw from Anomaly Falls. Ian starts again, will take it, I think. Harry down there playing a little soccer. You okay down there, Harry? Here we go. Starts with the throw. Back to him. Here's Eastman. Carries it to the middle. Oh, wide open on the far side. Brings it back. He's going to cross it. No, behind Eastman that time. Falls plays it back to Storch. Falls is able to play their defenders up with only two men back. Give them a great advantage. Nice centering and a goal. Indian goal by Tyler Shane. Assist from Ian Storch. Let's take a let's see. We got another shot of that there. Couldn't really see who that was. Here we have a replay. Ball in front and knocked in there. And that goal was scored by Tyler Shane, senior forward for the Falls. Now we're back to live action here. 3 0 Nominomini Falls. At this time, we could be again having a VIP's lineup. That's Joe Burgoyne. Gets it back here. Cuts it off. Out of bounds. A little shove. No, no call. We have a throw in here for the Falls. 42 minutes into the match. That's going to be a Falls throw. And Eastman's going to take the throw, it looks like. Yes. 
In from Menominee Falls, number 20, Jaden Ropemore. Falls with substitution here. Rokemore into the game. He's a midfielder. You gotta wait for the guys to get off the field here. Of course, the clock continues to roll. <laughs> no injury time, huh? Eastman's throwing it deep. Here it's coming. Oh, it's coming this way. It's gonna stay in play, though. Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting call. How are we going here? Falls again. Eastman with the throw again. Three minutes left in the half. Down on your side. Whoop. Up in the air here. Hale just kicks it out of bounds. Stotts this time. That's back to Stotts. In and out. We got here. Another throw for the Falls. That's Nelson with the ball. That's a handler. Uh-oh, a little trouble here. Nice speed by Hale. That's Burgoyne cutting him off, though. Burgoyne, here's a shot. No shot. Blocked by the falls. Hale's able to control it here over the midfield. They're playing it cross side, though, but they only have one minute left in the half. Including Dana Kopadich. Please report. It's Maloney back there. One minute left in the first half. They've got him stuck in the corner, and the ball's just laying out there. Smart move there. He's just going to send this one deep, I think, here. 45 seconds left in the first half. He boots it away. There's Nelson with the ball. Plays it back to Stotts. That's uh, Maloney. Maloney crosses it. And not quite able to get there. I think that's uh, Scargill over there. 20 seconds left. Oh, off the, off the noodle there. Hale's just trying to keep the falls. Uh, Jordan Hughes. Five, four. As we, as we near the end of the two, first half here, that's going to do it. Menominee Falls with the 3 0 lead the first half, at the half. Four, Falls three. I think Menominee Falls showed a lot more energy that half. And uh, they just seemed more organized. Yes, they did. And, and it was good for the Indians to attack and keep attacking and keep hell off their heels. And they got a three goal lead. And maybe in the second half, you might see more players. You may. Maybe some of the fellows don't get a lot of time here. You want to check them out when you're down on the side of um, the press box. I think the scars are 20 bucks. We're going to turn it over to Jerry Missling, our PA announcer, and he's going to introduce some of the VIPs here at this soccer game as Menominee Falls leads 3 0. And we'll be back to start the second half. Hosting Sheboygan, Tech Tech, Kelly Memorial, JV at 5, Varsity at 7. Here Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning actually, 11 o'clock, hosting Sheboygan South. Thursday night, Menominee Falls Grill, Tennessee, located right down the valley. The volume in the valley will be hosting all the proceeds starting at 4 o'clock. Also, next week is Powder Puff at Homecoming Week. We have Powder Puff Football on Wednesday night. Powder Puff Football Junior and Senior Girls, always entertaining, guaranteed. They scored more points than the Packers last week but probably less than the Badgers. So once again, get a chance, check out Paul and Paul football next Wednesday night. I also apologize in advance for any mispronunciations on VIP night. Also, I'd like to welcome Rob Williams. About time he got here.
Coach Scott Stein. My VIP is here tonight, it's Brent Morris. Once again, we'd like to say thanks to all the VIPs for coming out tonight and for making this a very special night, as well as always being here for us in the past and for knowing that you'll be there in the future. Thanks again to all our VIPs from Coach Stein and the full soccer family. Let's have a nice hand for all these folks out there. Thank you once again. It's beautiful weather, it's a beautiful night. And everyone is welcome to stick around for the second half. Also visit the concession stand. All the proceeds go to programs both athletic and academic. All right, uh, Troy, we've got the uh, first half st statistics here for Menominee Falls. Uh, three goals. The uh, first goal was scored by uh, Ian Stortz, assisted by Eastman. It was a, it was a nice, uh, was it a throw or a free kick? I don't recall, but it was a, from distance, he was able to put it away. Here's a Second shot. goal was by There's Alex a goal. Eastman. Wow. Deep goal. And the third goal for the Falls was by... Uh, Tyler Shane, and that was assisted by Ian Storch as well. Ian Storch has had a hand in the goal and an assist, and then also Eastman's got a goal and an assist. So they've both been pretty active for the balls in the first half. I was, uh, I was impressed, actually, with uh, Alapo. Yeah. He gets across the field in a hurry. He's a long guy. And uh, I thought also that uh, number 14, Nelson, has had a nice game. Always seems to be around the ball. Yeah, you got to watch that with Nelson because he's around the ball. Sometimes he will uh, take the corner kicks, either him or Eastman. He seems to have some decent size, a nice square kick. Yeah, and he's pretty stocky, too, so it's not like you're going to push him off the ball. Like 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 Manami Falls is at 10-2-1 uh, overall, I believe. 10-2-1 coming into this game. Fourth place in the Greater Metro Conference behind Brookville East Marquette and Brookville Central. Their only losses have actually been to Marquette and Brookfield East. There's your number one and number one teams in Division One and Division Two in the state. And I checked out this morning. Menominee Falls is actually ranked fifth in the state now in D1, behind uh, Madison West, Madison Memorial, and Eau Claire Memorial. Yeah, you know, Falls is going to have a hard time, um, especially in the, the the home stretch of this schedule. They play Catholic Memorial on Thursday. And Memorial is ranked number 10 in the area. They play Sheboygan South Saturday. Brookfield Central comes in uh, on the 30th. Sherwood comes in on October 2nd, and they go to Hamilton. And they play Cedarburg here October 9th, closing out their regular season at Germantown on October 11th. In that Germantown game, you might as well just throw the records out. That's one of those border battles. <laughs> right. You never know what's going to happen in that game. Well, I think Hamilton is too because Hamilton is, is breathing up there next. Yeah, they've had a, a little resurgence lately. Here we go with the second half. Ball starting off here with the ball. Falls on the near side. Going to the east now, left to right as you look at your screen. And we're going to have a throw in here for Hale. Just be Sykes with the throw, no. Josh Not Sykes. Now it's you. Look. I would expect Hale to try to come out aggressive early, try to get something started. Yeah, they have to because when you're down three goals, I, I think what you have to do is just try one goal at a time, just chip away at the lead. Falls plenty of defense back there. They play it ahead to Dantone. Dantone won on everybody here. He settles it a little bit. There's Eastman again. Eastman definitely appears to be the class of the class of the game here. A throw here from Menominee Falls. And there's Nelson taking the throw. Looking for Eastman, looking for anybody now. Plays it back. That must be Storts over there. Popped it up. Oh, Alapo overran it a little bit. 
able to take it away, though. Here's Falls with their flat back four defense. Offsides call on the Falls. I think that's Dan Tone up there. It'll be a free kick here eventually for Hale once they get lined up. There we go. I mean, it's pretty good putting on this field, although it's a, it's a dry night. But if it's a wet day and then you're playing soccer at nighttime, the field can be slippery and it can be a little sloppy as well. That's headed out by Menominee Falls. We'll have another throw for Hale on the far side. They're trying to bring their defenders up a little bit, it looks like, too. Can't give you here with the with the goal. Free kick here. Boots it away. Hale able to settle it. Oh, pretty close to a handball there. <laughs> Have to keep his hands out the way. A lot of pressure in the ball. That's Maloney, number three for the falls. You know the action over there. Alapo again turns the hail player. Number 19 for the falls is Callan. Hale plays it up. Falls defense able to get control of the ball. Burgoyne plays it up. Trying to get it to Dantone. Dantone with some pressure there. Kicked up. And falls is going to be able to get to that one. That's Nelson over there. A lot of pushing and shoving. They're going to call a push on Menominee Falls. So West Ellis Hale will have the free kick here. You never know. Falls might score six goals again, um, as they did two weeks ago when we had a soccer game here on Falls, Access, Falls Cable Access Channel 14. They scored six on West Dallas Central, winning 6-1. to one. Here's a shot. Knotted out by a lot, I believe. Hale still controls the ball. Getting kind of deep there. Falls kicks it out, so it'll be a throw in for West Dallas Hale. And you're talking about a team like the Falls coming into this game, averaging three and a half goals a game. That says a lot in soccer. But they've had some they have some early margin goals <laughs> as well, so that helped with the average. D'Antone trying to get around the defender there. They play it back. D'Antone maintains the pressure. Keeps him off, keeps him off balance a little bit. There's Hale playing up the far side. Decent move. Crosses it. A little too tall. Oh, there's an opportunity for Hale and a goal. Quick goal. Goal by Alexander Sykes of that was, West Dallas Hale. That was Sykes Indians from Hale. Three. We're going to replay right here. Huskies won. Played it all the way across. Somebody should have been running with him, I think. Yeah, it should have. He got it on. The, it was a, it was a nice shot. He, he got it on the far post. And good angle too. And we remember we just talked about Hale chipping away at the lead. Well, they needed that goal. If you were down four, you might as well just mail it in. Hale's going to, I hope they play the game tough here. Falls plays it up. There's nobody there. Callen trying to put a little pressure on. Pass Nelson. Hale coming up. Nice move by Hale. That's Burgoyne. No, that's Eastman back there taking. No, that was Burgoyne. Ooh. He's taking a couple of shots there at that Hale, this player. Callen. That's Burgoyne. Oh, he shoved him. And now there's a little bit more physicality on both ends. And, and they called it here. I didn't, I didn't know if they were going to call it. So that Burgoyne plays Back it into the nice corner. For Jacob Gilbertson. Right in front of the stands of Jacob. Give him away. Thank you. That looks like... On, Decent attempt there, but nobody home. That was Callen, I believe, yes. So now we'll have a goal kick for West Dallas Central. Or West Dallas Hale, not West Dallas Central. You got me thinking West Dallas Hale, our <laughs> Central there. Number two, Sam Choman. 
Yeah, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the Paul's players get the attention of the referee in this increased contact in this half of the game. There's Nelson battling for the ball. Hale comes out with it. Nelson gets a little shove in the back. And they're trying to take a little chippiness out of it now. A little couple of quick whistles, maybe. Well, yeah, since this is settle them down a little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, uh, first half, it was kind of loose, and now you may see more whistles, may hear more whistles in this game. Sense of urgency is now on the side of Menominee Falls. Headed out by it's, uh, Burgoyne down there. So it'll be a corner kick for Hale. Yeah, if you would have redirected that header, they probably would have went in their own goal, and you didn't want that. Corner kick coming. It's away. All the way across. Oh, they had an opportunity there. That looked like Sykes on the far side. Now you have to watch Sykes because if he's capable of scoring again, then, yeah, we do have a ball game. Again, gave it the goal kick here. That's Dantone. Turns on it. Got some help there. That's Dantone again. Plenty of time. He crosses it. Oh, almost the through to Eastman. Lapo. Well, they call Lapo with the shove now. So he didn't hear too many of those whistles in the first half. Balls gets back on defense now. Ooh, that was almost dangerous there. Nelson with the ball. Far side for the falls. Left back plays it up. D'Antone going over to the sideline. Unable to keep it in play. We'll have a throw for the West Dallas Hale Huskies. Three to one falls. Looking for anybody. Can't find anyone. Finally just throws it ahead and Hale kicks it out of bounds. So now the falls will have a throw in. Falls gets back. That's Joe. We're going there with the ball. Plays it back up to nobody. Knocked down there by y Ulick. Huskies with a lot more. Look at it. Oh, good attempt there by Huskies. Yeah, they're at it. They're at it going in the second half. Now you have that extra five minutes for each half. Plenty of time to mount a comeback, meaning if you go from a 40-minute half to a 45-minute half. Husky seem to be playing with a little more a little more energy, urgency. There's Nelson. Gets the ball down. Action on the far side of the field here. Husky seem almost like an entirely different team. They kicked that one out of bounds, though. Falls all have a throw in. Well, you know what, Chuck? You can't, when you the Falls, you can't sit on a two-goal lead with plenty of time left. You just can't. That starts with the throw. Uh, Lapo now has it taken away. Taken away by Zelton. A long shot. There's a rebound. Just misses it wide of the cage there. Saved by Will Genthy. Well, Genthy is getting that. There's a replay here. Wow, look at there. Off of Genthy and just a little bit wide. If he could have curled that in, we'd have been talking 3-2. I think the hell player got in the way. Well, Genthy pretty much broke that up because if he didn't, that would have went in. It's for going way up there. Maybe he was offside. Taking it up there. That's Eastman. Chips it over. That's Maloney on the far side up front. And that starts there. Carries it up. On the offensive end now. D'Antone tries to keep it in. Is he going to get a throw or a goal kick out of this? Hmm. 
West sideline on, on the far Just end of the field. Game that being slopes a little bit down. A little bit down that hill on the far side, yeah. Sean on a play basis tonight. And also it's behind really the goal you throughout the next couple weeks. as well. You can also on get the on east your computer under fallscableaccess.com. Yeah. Once again, All right, falls falls with Apple. Com and the nice job of controlling the ball. On the on-air button, falls cable access. He stays at com. it. No call there. Lapo plays it up to this Dan Tone. Whoa. Maybe a throw in for the falls. Players from both teams are, are trying to get the attention of the referee. Increased physical play, thinking that every foul should be called. There's a little pushing and shoving going on. It is a physical game. Here comes Hale back the other way. Foot race there. Falls wins it. There's Nelson Alapo. This is Eastman. Eastman's able to turn it and go. He's got Kellen on his right side. Gives it to him. Played it off of the Hale player. We're going to have a goal kick. No, a corner kick. I apologize. Corner kick here for the Falls. Who's coming to take it? We have VIP night here uh, at Menominee Falls <clears throat> in this game tonight at halftime. Some of the players have recognized important adults that helped them out and continue to help them out in their young life. Goal kick by the Falls out front. Tried to swing it in. Is that Eastman? It is. Nelson off the head. Here comes Hale. Nice job by the Falls. There's a shot. Oh, they're going to call a foul on the Falls. He's not happy. He better be careful. Yeah, you don't want that yellow card to be whipped out because if you're trying to show up the referee, he will give you a card. That he will. You talk about good sportsmanship, but then, you know, sometimes you just have yeah. to live with those calls and play on. Let's see who that was. That might have been Bonenberger. Ball is able to regain the ball. He played up the damn tone on the sideline. Hale gets there first. Yeah. All they do is kick out of the bounds and falls all up a throw. That's Stott again. He's got Eastman. Doesn't take it. Throws it ahead. He's trying to get it to Dan Tone. Now a Lapo. Lapo through. I think that's Dan Tone on the far side there. Nice move. Brings it to the box. Ball sitting in the middle. Oh, that's Nelson. Takes one from distance, just a little high. Well, Lapo didn't start the game, but he's getting a lot of minutes here on the field. Stovich will have the goal kick here. What's going on here? Oh, we had a call way out here, it looks like. Well, I'm not hearing a whistle at all. Well, you're hearing wow. it more. You're hearing it more this half. And Scott Stein is trying to, the coach at Falls is trying to get some clarification. It's a throw in for Hale way back there. Wow. Well, coach Stein is not happy about something. I don't think anybody's happy <laughs> right now. <laughs> I thought if you're the home team, you get the, the breaks from the officials. Well, here comes Hale. And back to the falls. Nelson with a quick throw. Yeah, they're going to take a little time to set up. Stop with a long throw. Off the head of the Hale player. He noodles it back there. There's Nelson. What do we got to call here now? Now the falls had the ball. They had an advantage. He blew the whistle. There's Eastman quickly again, and they're going to blow the whistle on him. And make him go back to the spot. Ah, come on now. Look. Uh. If the defense isn't ready, that's just their fault. All you, right. I thought I can do it a quick kick in <laughs> high school soccer. Burgoyne's going to take the free kick here. 60 minutes in. So we're two-thirds home here already. Three to one falls. Here's the kick by Burgoyne. Into, a, into many people. Bounces over his head. Good job, though. Falls breaks it up. There are people flying all over the place. 
Good sportsmanship there by the Falls, helping the Husky up. And Hale will have a free kick here. Falls away. All the way through. And uh, Will Kenty will get it. He's going to send his guys deep now. Try to get a little organized here. I haven't seen as much. Uh, Falls seem to be more organized in the first half. Maybe that's got something to do with the way Hale's playing, though. I don't know. Oh, almost disrobed him. They say play on. Eastman with the ball. Plays it outside. Shot. On the backside. Nobody there. D'Antone, Eastman. Nice save by Hale. And we're going to go the other way a little bit. Hale just kicks it out of bounds. Falls wants to throw it in quickly. That's Nelson shipping it up. Alapo played off the ball. Eastman. We got an opportunity here. He's not able to turn it around. Oh, and they make a call against the Falls. I think they call it on Callen. Ball's on the heads. Ball settles. Far side. That's Dantone there. Seems like the Falls is doing a little bit standing around here. Dantone. He will keep it in. And it's going to be a throw in here. Good hustle by Dantone there. You know, I only understand around there's jockeying for position, grabbing of jerseys, all that stuff, takedowns, you name it. Dantone heads it up. Ball stays in play. Hale just bangs it downfield, but it's out of bounds. Quick throw in here from the Falls. Well, he's running for a while first. And they're trying to figure out where he's supposed to be. I think that's Stott. Long throw. Out of bounds again. Falls with another throw. They could try and bring it this way. Towards us, Joe Burgoyne. Ooh, kind of didn't fan on it, but it went off the side of his foot. Hale yeah, with a nice attempt there. It starts back there with the ball. They are on a kind of a, they're going to be out of bounds to Hale. So Hale down in their offensive end here now. Quickly throw it in. Here they come. Good job by Burgoyne to knock it away. We took one in the back of the head there. We're stopping the clock here. That didn't look good. Hey, we get the card out. Yellow card. He cracked the... That's Eastman that got hit in the back of the head there. So uh, Zelton's going to have to go out for Hale. Yeah, that was pretty scary, but um, it was the right call. You really don't want anybody to get injured. No. And I'm I'm sure it was not intentional. Falls with the kick here. Stotts. Nice long kick. Off of the hail head, and it's going to be... No, they didn't settle it. They just tried to play practically back. Nelson overruns the ball a little bit, but he gets it back. Nice job by Nelson. Plays it in, almost back to him. Throw for Falls. Quick throw. I think that's Dantone. That looks like Eastman now. Eastman, one on four, five, six. Still with it. Still with it. Eastman against the world on that play. Falls has it back. That starts over there now on the far side. Plays it deep. Alapo off the head. I believe this is Callen. Yes. Callen all the way across. And it's going to be a corner kick. No? Yes, corner kick for the Falls. Corner kick. Dejan Nelson. A little momentum going the Falls way. And they really need this win to um, go 3-2 and two in conference with their two losses coming to Brookville East and Marquette with a combined score of 8-1. to one. Marquette shot them out 4-0 and then Brookville East beat them 4-1. He was going to play it short, but 
Hale quickly ran out there, so we're going to bend it in. Nice corner. Alapo. There's a goal. That's not Alapo. It looks like Callen. No. Coach Stein, re we'll take a look at the replay here. It's up, and it's number one. It is Callen. Yeah, that was a sure as goal by Falls and Felton, and guess what? They have a cushion now, so they yeah, they got the one back here at 65 minutes in. Nice set piece there on the corner. All right, back at it. Hale bringing it up. Down 4-1 now. They try to feed it in. There's Nelson again with the ball. There's Dantone getting in the mix. Callen. There's a Lapo. Lapo, a little bit of a weak kit. Dantone. Hale coming the other way now. Nice job by Burgoyne to knock it down. There's Eastman and Nelson. This side, near side here, Callen looking, looking. Plays it back to Nelson, pressured. Plays it back. That's Tomman, number two. Alapo. Here comes Callen again. He's got Dantone in the middle. Stops it, good. Alapo takes one. No, he swings it over. Settled. And picked off by the goaltender from the Huskies. Yeah, you, you know that um you know that the, the top two guys on the Menominee Falls team will get all conference honors. Eastman and Nelson, but their Ross I mean the all conference pick is gonna be full of Brookville East and Marquette players. It usually is. Here we go. They're playing it in. Falls just knocks it back out. We'll have a throw in right away. Here comes a throw from Hale. Tries to bend it in. Deflected from the Falls. Genthi knocks it down. No problem there. No problem. Saved by Tyler Pitlick. We'll, we'll have some stuff coming in for the Falls. Dead ball situation. But um, right now, you really can't rest if your coach got time for the Falls, even though you have a three goal lead. Still plenty of time. And Tony Eastman plays it up to the far side. That's Dantone. Dantone keeps it alive. Oh, it's a handball. It's not called. There's a shot and a goal by Eastman, though. Menominee Falls goal by Alex Eastman. Indians five. Husky Falls one. put the pressure on there. Goaltender got out of position. You can see right here on the replay. Looks like a clear handball right there on the shot by Dantone. No call. But the ball comes right to Eastman. We run this through. Everybody's looking for a handball. Goalie's back up, but Eastman's able to put it away on the far post. Yeah, Isaiah Sayers, number four for Hill, got his hand in there, but the rebound came off pretty nice, and Eastman collected and kicked it in. That'll give you a 5-1 lead for Menominee Falls. 23 to play, 22, 22 minutes to go. Falls seems to be playing with more enthusiasm again. Callen plays it ahead. That's McMahon over there. Number 10, Tyler Pitlick and 17. We have a number of substitutions here for uh, Menominee Falls. So we've got some new players in the game now. It's going to be a throw in for Menominee Falls. That looks like uh, Bonenberger will be taking the throw in. Gets it right back and a kick to the next county by uh, <laughs> West Dallas Hale. <laughs> Is, is this when you call the dogs off, and, or do you continue to put the pressure on, leave some of your starters? And some of the starters are leaving, like Nelson. He just came out. So they feel comfortable playing some Falls, subs. Number one, Jordan Bonenberger. Shouldn't be too much of a dent in their lead. Throws it all the way across the field. It bounces all the way through. Hale plays it up. It'll be a throw in for West Dallas Hale. They take it quickly. Falls has everybody back, though. 
A little shove them back, no call. Try and get the names on some of these guys when they get a little closer. I can pick them up off the monitor here. Well, they're, they're just happy to get in the game, especially with a nice cushion by the Indians. Left-footed shot, knocked down. Say by Norskovich. Collected by Stovich. And we're just sort of 70 minutes in. Falls plays it back up. What do we have here? I think I call foul on Bonenberger. Hale earns a free kick here. All right, here we go. Far side, Hale plays it in. Knotted away by Eastman. You know, you alluded to it earlier. It looks like it's getting a little slippery out there. Probably some dew. Shot. Not much on it, really. And an easy save well, Genthi. for Genthi. Booted away. See Luck there again. And that's McMahon in the mix. I see Alapo is out of the game as well as Nelson now. Hale on the far side, and they'll have a throw. Yeah, you look, look for your starters to set the tone and set the pace and get some early goals, get a cushion, let some of the substitutes come in and play. Otherwise, in a tight soccer game, you're not going to see too many of the subs except the key ones that come in and out. We'll have a corner kick here for West Dallas Hale. Corner kick, Ryan Effinger. Falls in. Falls is able to get it out of there. Here's Eastman. Eastman knocks it out. Quick throw coming here from Hale. Play it up. And the keeper takes it. To settle things down a little bit. Balls will get organized here. Boots it away. That's McMahon. McMahon in the middle now. Nice play. That's Callen. McMahon. Played off by Hale, and they're going to call that on McMahon. Easy here, guys. Easy. And, and so we're just going to have a kick for Hale. They got slapped in the back of the head, too. Yeah. <laughs> Something that the referee did not catch. Or caught and chose to ignore. <laughs> well, you know, they want, if, it's, if this game is going to be over in less than 20 minutes, they got things to do, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy hour's over, so we look. We're going to have a free kick here. The goaltender's going to take it. Might as well. Might as well, just, might as well let some of these calls go, but. In all fairness, you can't. All right, Hill plays it up. McMahon's looking for a call. He better be careful or he's going to be seeing himself over on the bench. I here. think you should take him out right now. Looks like Coach Stein just sent a player over. I mean, look, they're up. You don't need somebody to get. Oh. So in high school soccer, if a player gets a yellow card, will they be allowed to play the next game? The other, you're fine, unless you accumulate them. But red card, then I believe you missed the game. So, we've got a kick here from Menominee Falls. Looks like we're going. Is it? No. Yes, it is. Plays it up. Oh, nice set play. Oh, just a step off from Menominee Falls. Saved by North Stovich. Punted downfield by the keeper from Hale. Didn't look like he was too enthused about getting his head on that one, did it, over there? No, of course not. <laughs> but psychologically, they're out of this game. We got some substitutions here for the Falls again. 
Collins out. We've got uh, Taylor Sh Tyler Shane into the game. And as well as number 11, Austin for both teams. For West Falls Nile for a Hale, throw here. 13, McQuell Rodriguez. From Anomaly Falls, number 11, Austin Peaton, and 21, Tyler Shane. Oh, Falls heads the ball out of bounds. We'll have a throw for West Ells Hale here. Hale plays it up. Burgoyne nods it away. And he plays it the other way. That looks like Tyler Shane. Yeah, Shane scored a goal in the first half. I'm going to talk to Coach Stein about these numbers after the game. Put yellow in the middle of the numbers. Something. Black, maroon would be just fine. Ooh, dangerous play there. We're stopping the clock here. He, uh, I think they were both playing for the ball there and kind of got upended. Yeah. I don't know if Harry's got a replay of this one or not. Well, here's the, one of the captains. You might as well take him out. Yeah, Eastman's coming out. No replay here. Nelson's back into the game from. We might have seen the, the end of Eastman right Dijon there. Nelson. Let's have a nice hand yeah, for Alex calls. Eastman. It's about the last guy you'd want to see hurt with a 5 1 lead. Yeah, definitely. So Nelson's back in the game now. Maybe if we turn the lights off, you'll be able to see their numbers, right? All right, here we go. Oh, we got the drop ball. I used to call that the jump ball, and everybody would look at me. <laughs> All right. That's Burgoyne, and Hale gets the ball back, trying to control it, but taken away there. That's Bonenberger. No, that's not. That's Sam Tommen now, number two. Boy, I'm going to give it to the Falls there. Falls is going to get a kick. Are there any comparisons? Um from this current Falls players than the ones that you coach? In the past? Oh, I didn't do a lot of coaching, but I did a lot of watching. I, oh. see, a, I see a number of little brothers out here. Yeah. I, I, Eastman's have been here forever. We're going as well. But right now, this is Nelson on the ball. Takes a shot. It's going to be high and wide. We've got 76 and a half minutes in. So we got the, uh, what, 13 and a half to go. 5-1 yes. Marquette. Coach Dice, you emptied the whole bench because, look, get some of those other players who haven't been in the game in the game, get some time on the field. 5-1 Marquette. 5-1 Menominee Falls. Marquette's not playing in this game. Along the far side again, nobody home for the falls. That's Tyler Shane running back and forth up there. If Marquette was playing against the falls, it probably would have been the other way around. Look out here. He heads it up. Nobody there. There's Burgoyne is able to knock the ball out of the way. Now Nelson. Fall settles it. Ooh. That's not going to be able to get to that one. Falls kicks it out. We're going to have a throw in here for Hale. Quick throw. Getting a little sloppy all around here now, it seems. That's Sheen, I believe. 21, yes. Hale on the far side. If you're falls, you want to finish this game strong. And unforced there, actually, it looks like there. So you'll have a throw in for Menominee Falls. Falls with a substitution. And for Menominee Falls, number seven, Michael Handler. Falls with the throw. Look, a lot of standing around here. Another throw for the Falls. 
This game is all but over. I don't think Hale can score four goals in a little bit over 11 minutes. Yeah, I hope you're right. <laughs> Shane Fall keeping the pressure on. We have a throw for Hale. I believe that was number seven, the last substitution for the Falls. Is that Michael Handler? Hale with the throw. Oh, free kick. Near midfield. Falls away. Headed out of there. That looks like Dot still. Is it? Yes. Storts. Nelson, but we're going to have have a shove call, it looks like. Or was it a high kick? Well, Hale will take the free kick here. Just outside the box. They got 23 and 10 on the ball. That's Sykes and U Ulick are. There's a sh Oh, good job by the Falls. Block that. That was Th Tommen. Sam Tommen. Falls ends up with the throw in. Catches him on the run. Gives it back to him. Falls working through. That's Nelson. There's somebody cutting. Uh oh. Had him on the run earlier. I don't think he's going to get there. And it's out of bounds. Throw in here. Ten minutes to go. Nine and a half. Knocked down by Bonenberger. Bonenberger takes it away again. Unable to control it, though, is Futen. Throw for Hale. Good defensive pressure by the Falls. Oh, he gets by him there. He, referee tells him to play on. That's a little too tall for that player on the far side. And the Falls will be throwing it in. Another substitution for the Falls. Player on the far sideline there, new in the game. Chests it over to the middle. Here they come. And from Menominee Falls, number six, Andrew Godfrey. All right, we got a throw here. And this will be Tommen. Tommen looking for somebody. Oop, tried to play it through. Jeez, Hale plays it too hard, and we're going to have a throw in here for Falls. Is this foot? No, not going to take it. It'll be Tommen again. That's Nelson now. Nelson all the time, no pressure at all. Oh, and Hale's happy to just clear it downfield. Oh, it's a foot race. Whoa. Getting a little chippy there with Taylor. Will Ganty gets it, boots it away. That's uh, Shane, I believe, yes. And they kick it out of bounds. So you'll have a throw in for the Falls. Well, coming into this game, the Falls outscored their opponents by 20. They scored 39 goals to 19 for the opponent. So they're, they're doing a pretty good job of getting some early goals and making sure that the game stays under control. Falls, all kind of fans on it. Plays it back, a little dangerous because that number 11 is fast. That's, that's Joe Burgoyne so up there now. For both teams. For the Going Huskies, to Nelson, he wants Michael it back, Lewis. gets it. Nelson, Indians, oh, very Ian unselfish Scott there. Hill. What do we got here? Pushing on the falls. Seven minutes to play. 5-1 falls. Well, a free kick for Nathan Hale taken by goaltender Stovich. Yes, yep. this is an important win for the falls as they'll go to 3-2 and two in conference. But then they have Catholic Memorial here on Thursday, September 25th. Burgoyne plays it far. 
And it's going to be a throw from Menominee Falls. That fourth goal pretty much took all the spark out of Hale. Well, they're a little attempt here, but Falls is able to turn it. Out of bounds, so you'll have a throw in for West Dallas Hale. Only six minutes to play, though. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about uh, a rebound that's coming off the hands of a, a goalkeeper or defender. Nice goal by Eastman. To Shot. Oop. Almost got away from him there. Save by Will Genty. Genty with the save. He'll knock it away here. Shane there. Shane and Putin trying to do a little damage. Hale will throw the ball in. We have substitutions. Shane is out of the game. Into the game for Falls is... Substitutions for both teams. Looks like a lapo. And from an Omni Falls, number 20, no. Jaden Ropemore. Number 20, Ropemore, not 22. West Dallas Hill, number 22, Ropemore. Curtis Grunwald. Long throw by Hale. Headed away. There goes Rokmar with the ball. Unable to control it. You can just feel the moisture in the air. Some of the guys are slipping. Right. Falls takes it away on the far side. Plays it back. Deep corner. Centers it. Nods it down. Falls is able to clear it out. Oh, good job by Hale. Trying to keep a little pressure on. Just sucking up the time here. <laughs> and it's going to be a throw in, I believe. Uh, are they going to get a goal kick out of this? I couldn't quite tell which side of the flag it went out of bounds on. It's going to be a goal kick from Romney Falls. Under five minutes to go now. Goal kick for Genty. I think Jerry should start counting down now. Usually comes down to one minute mark, right? There's the ball away. <laughs> That's that's Footen with the ball. And that's over to Lucked. Lucked back this side. That's Wendland. Yeah, I think Manami oh, Falls kicked Manami it out. Falls, number yeah. 23, Josh Wendland. So we're going to have a goal kick. Back in for the Indians, number 10, Tyler Pitt. For Nathan Hale. Another substitution there for the Falls. Uh, these these guys have to really be in shape to to ask them to play an extra ten minutes in regulation. Something that they probably haven't done before. Falls. A lot of uh, a lot of action in the midfield area this this half here. Going to be a throw in here for the Falls. Play it forward. Shove. Throw or a kick. Difficult to say from here. So we're going. Looks like it's going to be a free kick. I mean, the Falls have had pretty good regular seasons, but then in the playoffs they get trumped by some of the better teams. Hale clears it up. Knocked down by Burgoyne. Nice job. Falls carries it up. Uh -huh. Good job of getting back on the defense. Burgoyne nods it away. And we're playing in midfield again. That's going to be a throw in for Nathan Hale. Two minutes to go in the match. Hale dribbles through traffic. They're trying to get anything. Crossed. Good job staying with your man. Good mark there. Headed up. Fall settles. Plays it to the center. I think that's Pitek. Pitek. Pittick. 
And the uh, foul there on Hale. And we have a minute and a half to go. Yeah, frustration there by Hale. He just Falls is all the way up. Hale standing around with their hands on their hip. On the far side here. Some of the guys that don't get to play a lot trying to get a little get a little ink, try to get on the scoreboard here. Yeah. One minute. Well, we have to find One out who's on crew game. here, who's on the production crew. We know Harry's in the trailer. And, and we also know Gordy is out. Throw in for the falls. Far side. A couple of people I haven't seen before, but I'm sure we'll mention their names toward the end of this telecast. Oh, stepped on his foot, caught him with a knee. Be a kick for Hale. Referee wants the ball placed right where the foul occurred. 15 seconds left. Hale boots it down. Missed it on the head. 10, 9, 8, 7. Hale still giving six, a shot here at the end. 5, 4, Three, falls at the throw. Two, That's going to be the end of the game. One. And this game Menominee is Falls history. with the victory 5-1 to one here five, West over Dallas West Dallas Hale, Hale not Central. It is West Dallas Hale. Hosting Catholic Memorial game time, 7 o'clock for Varsity, 5 o'clock for Boys Gini. shake hands here. Also back here on Saturday, both TV and Varsity will play at 11 o'clock. And uh, we'll get ready to wrap it up here. Also like to welcome a special guest, yeah, they, Randy Volk and his VIP nice win. life fam. Very important win for the Falls as they go to three and two in conference. They don't deserve her. Uh, all the they have a big game next week. Uh, Tuesday is their next conference game against Brookfield Central. Uh, I'm on, I don't know who they're also playing tonight. Falls, Brookfield Mr. Central. Club, but that game will probably be for third place in conference. Also, two, Brookfield East and Marquette are Monopoly the class Falls of the conference. East, as the often happens, Valley. especially with Marquette, both again, ranked number one in their divisions in the state. Powder Puff yeah, night. And That's Wednesday night. It's always an excellent really game. To get their between game on, their junior game face and senior on. girls. That's part of homecoming week activities. Because they homecoming can move football up third game place, like you said, in the conference. Friday night. And they still have Sussex Hamilton to deal with in conference. All right. I think that's going to do it for us here tonight. Uh, once again, final score Manami Falls 5, West Dallas Hale 1. And uh, Chuck Van Horn here. Troy Sparks here. Troy Sparks, and uh, we'll thank you for joining us. Just and there's our TV crew. There we go. Carol Quaco. We Foster mentioned Gordon Kirchhoff, Eric Weisenberg, and, of course, Harry. Harry Stetson in the trailer. Thank you very Troy much for Sparks watching. And Chuck Van Horn. Get out and watch.